guys, it's Trinity, and you guys are probably wondering, what is up with my background? But I just moved the camera. And I moved the camera for a very specific purpose today. I am going to be giving you guys a bookshelf library tour featuring a very whiny dog. This whiny dog. <laughs> he won't shut up. <laughs> this one. This one here. He won't be quiet. <laughs> so I wanted to pop on here and do an intro for you. I am going to be showing you all of the books that are on my shelves and I'm going to hold nothing back. You're going to see the mess. You're going to see that my shelves are not organized. You're going to see that my dog does not know how to calm down. <laughs> And I hope you guys have fun with me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but go ahead and keep watching this video because this is just the beginning. Okay, this is my bookshelf that is in my living room that my dad made. It's all nice and pretty. And we'll do the tour here. So on this first shelf. I told you guys that I had read all of the Anita Blake books. And starting at the left are the Anita Blake. And then Kiss of Shadows is the start of the Mary Gentry. And I've tried getting all of them in hardback. As you can see, I have a couple paperbacks here. The next shelf there is the Walden copy that I talked about Doctor Who and Sherlock Holmes and my Arthur book and then a random guy Gavri okay there Charlene Harris the Jim Butcher that I do have some Preston and Child books And then my Barbara Kingsolver here on the end. I love Barbara Kingsolver. You guys know that. Moving down. So here are the hardback Kim Harrison books that I own. They are not in order. I need to fix that. But hey, whatever. And then we have the PC cast House of Night, which is very near and dear to me because I am from Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's where the books are set. And then some more of my classic, um, The Valkyrie, which I read for Norse Vimber, Shakespeare, The Help. And then down below, most of these are books that I picked up at the buy sell trade that I haven't read yet that just looked interesting. However, there is the Blood Gospel right there. I talked about that trilogy quite a bit. And then my collection of Nora Roberts over here at the end. I'm on I'm on Elisa is one of my favorite books. I love that book. And then at the very bottom, I do have the Michael Crichton Jurassic Park Jurassic World set. The two books next to it are by an author who I'm actually friends with and I took care of her grandson and she is absolutely fantastic. The Magicians and then The Powder Mage, the first two books in that trilogy. And then next to it, I've got my Bible and a few other little random things. Again, my friend who is an author, most of those are her books. And then the Body Sculpting Bible down at the bottom because I used to be a personal trainer. Okay, and I figured I would also show you guys my library and how it is set up. Up. My dog is determined to be a part of this video. 
so there he is. <laughs> There's my setup, which is very, very simple <laughs> for doing my videos. And we'll walk in. I do my gaming back here as well. So I have my gaming setup back here with my TV. And the sign you guys always see, which says my library. I have a sign that says, don't let the muggles get you down. Oh, and there is my sign that's on my door. <laughs> because yes, I do write. Okay, at the top here we have Shiro and Voltron, my New York Yankees piggy bank, and a Minecraft cow because my son's toy ended up back here and I'm not sure how. Okay, first shelf, we have Aloy and Aaron from Horizon Zero Dawn, and this would be Wizard's First Rule, that, tr that series. Terry Goodkind, I've read the first two, <laughs> but I have enjoyed them. I know Terry Goodkind is not popular, but I do like Terry Goodkind. Okay, next shelf, you see the cards that I have handy for me when I do my videos. Then we have Tad Williams' Otherland series. I am missing one of the books, but there is Sherlock. And I plan to read Otherland as soon as I can get to it. I've heard very good things about the Gap series by Stephen R. Donaldson, and I found them at a used bookstore so I went ahead and got them because they were like three dollars a piece one of them says $4.95 on the spine but it's lying and then Jonathan Mayberry Rotten Ruin that series I really really enjoy it is almost middle grade oh and here look at this so this was a gift and it looks like a book But it's actually an LED light. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, and there are books that are on my current TBR that I'm reading. Okay, next shelf. I don't know why there's a cord there, but there is. We have the Shannara series. From Terry Brooks. Again, I have read the first book in the Sword of Shannara trilogy. Don't remember what it's called, but that book all the way to the left is a bind up of the first trilogy. And then I have Kate Elliott. I have read Cold Magic, Cold Fire, Cold Steel, and I am going to be doing a reread of that very soon. The others I haven't read yet. Okay, towards the bottom. This is kind of my not fantasy <laughs> books that I have here. Widow of the South. Burial Rites is so good. And then most of them I've read, but some of them I have not. You guys saw me reading After Alice. Here is my hoard of books <laughs> that needs to go to the buy-sell trade. Uh, some that I'm giving away to other people. And an upcoming video. All right. <laughs> So in this corner, you can see that I have a painting of Hogwarts with the Quidditch pitch on the, in the background there. My best friend Taylor painted that eye for me. Love it. And then Nathan Drake from Uncharted. We have Danny and Sansa, and then just a really pretty skull. Here is my law head shelf, and that is an apple that I 
got whenever I was teaching. And you can see all of the law head that I have. Hood is my favorite. I've never been able to find Scarlet or Tuck in hardback, and I'm still on the search for them. So if you guys come across them, let me know. And then the favorites shelf. Here we have the favorites shelf, Anthony, Ryan, and Brent Weeks. Um, I am missing the black song. I have not purchased it yet. I need to find it in hardback. And some people ask me why I don't have Anthony Ryan's The Waking Fire and The Legion of Flame in hardback. And I am going to show you guys. So here is my copy of The Waking Fire. And it's autographed. <laughs> I'm a huge Anthony Ryan fan, and so he went ahead and sent this to me, and I absolutely love it, and the Legion of Flame is the same way, so that's why I haven't replaced them, because I have no intention of getting rid of these. And also, here is my beautiful collector's edition of the Night Angel trilogy. It is solid black and a little dusty but I adore it and you might notice Lightbringer is missing and that's maybe because it might be in another video or in my next video <laughs> the next shelf here is kind of my catch-all shelf supposed to be sci-fi but I wanted my Joe Abercrombie over here too so we have the first law trilogy, the rest of Abercrombie's standalones that connect to the first law. I don't have the next series yet, but I'm working on it. Then, of course, my collection of sci-fi, Space Between Worlds, love that book. Artemis, love that book. Excited to read Thunderhead. And then... We have the bottom shelf, which currently has a book missing, and I'm sure you can see that. The Year of the Witching was my favorite book last year. Loved it. Well, Empire of Ashes was my favorite book, but it was one of my favorites. Love Dracula the Undead. There we go with that. Okay, and then I have my Pop Sugar next to be read books on a little shelf up here. And Harley and my Purple Skull over here. And my can of books that I tend to draw from when I can't what I decide what I'm going to read. And then my young adult shelf, which is half the size of the rest of my shelves. But I have all of my Lee Bardugo over to the left. I am missing the second book in the Shadow and Bone series. Ugh, all the Stars and Teeth. I need to get the next book in that one. And there we have the Doctor. And then I need the second book in the Queen of the Tearling series. Missing that one too. And then my favorite series, Young Adult series, Truth Witch, they're missing the second book in the Steelheart series. What is wrong with me and second books? And then we also have my paperback copies of the Warden series, and behind it are the Iron Druid series by Kevin Hearn. All right, next shelf, we have my Marvel collection of Pops. And then, for some reason, I have my Sarah Ryder and my Hawk pop figures next to them, and my son. So, the first shelf in this, you will see that the yard is missing from the first series. That is because it was over on my to-be-read-very-soon 
And then I <laughs> told you that my Scott Lynch collection, the books were very erratic in size, <laughs> and you can kind of see that right here. Then I have the Gareth Hanrahan books and Robert McMahon. Both of those series I still need to read. And Sanderson. I have started buying all of my Sanderson books in hardback and getting rid of all of my paperback books. So I am slowly replacing all of the paperbacks with hardback, which is why I said there was a whole shelf of Sanderson and now there's not. <laughs> so very erratic here, just getting them when I can find them. John Gwynn next to it. And the next shelf starts with, with Peter V. Brett and another random guy, Gavriel K. <laughs> The the trilogy from Mark Lawrence that I first read. And then my Robin Hobb, which does continue down to the next shelf. Name of the Wind. I have not bought the second book in the series. Mainly because I really want the anniversary editions of them. And I would rather buy the anniversary edition of the second book and have them kind of be special and they are just this is just my random fantasy kind of shoved in a hole <laughs> books I had done a video of authors that I was going to give a second chance to and they're just stacked here in case I decide I want to get rid of them or not get rid of them however that goes they're just sitting there waiting for me to read them and figure out if I'm going to get rid of them or not. <laughs> so the boxes, <laughs> these are also books that I am getting rid of. And we had a house fire not too long ago. And I really went through all of my books to see what I wanted to keep, what I wanted to give away. Harry Potter is obviously in a special place over here. And this is my closet. Or is it? No, it's not. It's more books. <laughs> so this is a mess and judge me if you want to, but you don't have to, but you can. It is my random collection of writer's books. It is my Horizon Zero Dawn and Dragon Age art books and comic books and my H.P. Lovecraft and vampires. It is also where I store <laughs> Some things that I can't seem to find a place for, <laughs> they end up in this pile right here. Also, a lot of my annotation doodads are down here. <sighs> okay, the first shelf up from that. Uh, PC Cast Moon Chosen was a gift, but these are a lot of my young adult that I haven't got to yet. But a lot of the things in the closet, they are simply shoved in here because I can't figure out where else to put them. But we also have the Tamarack series by Naomi Novik. Above that are some of my Charlene Harris books, some of my Kristen Hanna books, and then pretty much a random selection from there on. I do have my Guinevere series down here at the end. Rosalind Miles. Haven't read Sabriel yet. Okay, on this shelf is where I keep my horror mystery thriller type books. And as you can tell, I like the Odd series by Dean Koontz. I do have a Stephen King that I keep trying to read and <laughs> never enjoying. Oh, Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, love that one. Brahms the Child Thief, love that one. And H.P. Lovecraft, of course, again. Floating Dragon by Peter Straub, that was actually recommended to me by Anthony Ryan, and I still haven't read it. 
bad fan. Okay, the next shelf is kind of a hodgepodge of paranormal romance and mystery. Actually, just what will fit over here. So, let me give you a good look. There is the Goddess Summoning series by PC Cast, which is one of my favorites. Some of my classics. And then a lot of these are on the end are ones that I had for school. These are, however, double stocked. And you can see there's a lot of my Kelly Armstrong. There's my Trudy Canavan. And there's the rest of the Suki Stackhouse series. Oh, and The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan. And it's hiding back there because I read it and I didn't like it. Okay, the next shelf we have Red Rising. I told you someone bought me the trilogy. There it is. More Preston and Child. Emma Newman. I only own the first book. I need to get the rest. E. e. Knight couple of other series that I plan to start. Oh, Library of the Unwritten. Loved that. Can't wait to get to Benty. And now up here is where a lot of the books I have pulled down for another video have come from. Uh, Kingmaker, Kingbreaker, I'm very excited to get to. Greg Isles, I really like his writing, so I have read most of that series. You guys know that I'm going to be reading Theft of Swords, so the first one of that is missing. And I've heard very good things about Jennifer Fallon, so I wanted to try both of these series. Found at a used bookstore for fairly cheap, so I was like, yay. And Fenrir and Wolf's Angel by M.D. Lachlan is a Norse book series. Up here, I have some classic romances that are autographed that my mom gave me, and then a very, very old edition of Sherlock Holmes, because I love Sherlock Holmes, and why not? More wands, of course, because I'm that type of person. And then some Doctor Who paraphernalia, a painting that my sister gave me from Petty. And then this is more Dragon Age comics. 